It's a lovely day in Pompeii. In the amphitheatre, the gladiators are fighting crocodiles. The soldiers at the barracks are coming back from an exercise. And Pliny the Younger is at his uncle's house on the coast. Is that Mount Vesuvius in the background, Pliny? Oh, are you reading? Shall we come back later? Back in the city, Hovis the baker is putting some loaves into the oven. Is it busy today, Hovis? Are you hoping for lots of customers? Two loaves for Mr. Centurio. Is that for the soldiers' tea, Mr. Centurio? It is? Goodbye, then. What's that on the floor, Hovis? It looks like soot. Is the oven on fire? No. Is it the chimney? No. Are you going to send your slave service to fetch the fire brigade? Shall we go too? That's funny service. All the dogs are leaving Pompeii. Unless they've been chained up like poor Cerberus here. Never mind. Here's the fire station at last. We're on our way, service. Barney McGrew, Cuthbert Dibble Grub. You have to move, Hovis. It's not your oven, and it's not your chimney. The ashes from the mountain! Evacuate the city, men. Attention! It may be too late for the gladiators, but everyone else, run for your life! The mountain's gonna blow! <coughs> There's Pliny's uncle. Are you going to see what's happening, uncle? Is that a pillow tied to your head in case of falling stones? Good idea. Though it's the gas that'll get you in the end. They find your body unmarked. Goodbye then, uncle. What about you, Hovis? Why are you still here? Are you waiting for the next batch of loaves to come out of the oven? Oh, Hovis. I think it's too late for that. As for you, Pliny the Younger, I suppose you preferred to go on reading rather than get too close. Is that how you survived? Thought so. You're not really the adventurous type, are you? Never mind. You can put it in a letter to Tacitus. Goodbye. <laughs>